One day after the sixth Starship rocket launch, the company got good news from the FAA regarding future launches from its Starbase facility in South Texas. What was the announcement and what does it mean for Starship's program? And when is Starship Flight 7 going to launch? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. So as we know, the FAA is responsible for regulating commercial space launches and re-entries, ensuring they meet public safety requirements while leading an interagency review process to address environmental impacts, national security, foreign policy concerns, and insurance requirements for the operators. That means that any launch within U.S. airspace must be approved by the FAA and other agencies like EPA and Fish and Wildlife. Previously, SpaceX got a permit allowing up to five Starship Super Heavy launches a year from Boca Chica, along with up to 10 Starship landings and five Super Heavy booster landings. However, SpaceX's rapid development is undeniable. Top SpaceX officials, including Elon, Gwen Shotwell, and Kathy Luters, have set a new goal for Starship, increasing the launch cadence to 25 launches, 25 Starship landings, and 25 super heavy landings annually. This shift in goals necessitated a new application for a revised FAA permit. Encouragingly, on November 20th, the FAA released a draft environmental assessment, EA, for Starship opposite SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. The FAA stated that it would grant SpaceX permission to increase Starship launches in South Texas to 25 a year, up from the current limit of five. Furthermore, the company may also get approval to continue expanding the size and capacity of the Super Heavy booster and Starship upper stage. FAA has concluded the modification of SpaceX's existing vehicle operator license for Starship Super Heavy operations conforms to the prior environmental documentation consistent with the data contained in the 2022 PEA that there are no significant environmental changes and all pertinent conditions and requirements of the prior approval have been met or will be met in the current action, the federal agency stated in its conclusion. The FAA's 160-page report comprehensively assessed the environmental impacts of SpaceX's operations in Texas. This review covered areas such as air quality, climate change, water resources, noise, cultural heritage, and wildlife. The findings indicated that the mitigation measures SpaceX proposed in its 2022 environmental review meet the requirements for expanding its launch activities at the site. The increased activity will bring changes, particularly a sharp rise in truck traffic transporting materials like water, liquid oxygen, and methane from approximately 6,000 trips a year to nearly 24,000. However, this figure could go down if a proposed water pipeline is constructed along Highway 4 to supply the launch pad's deluge system. Notably, SpaceX has made positive strides. For instance, the time required to close Highway 4 in Boca Chica Beach for testing and launches has gone down by 85% between the first and third Starship flights. This improvement partly results from relocating pre-launch activities to the Massey test site, about four miles from the launch pad. Currently, SpaceX estimates needing less than 20 hours of access restrictions per launch, including landing phases. This progress demonstrates clear advancements in Starship's launch preparation and safety measures. It's likely that the necessary permits will be approved soon, paving the way for Starship to have an excellent start to 2025. The FAA has opened a public comment period set to close Jan 17th, during which it will hold five public hearings to get feedback from local communities and stakeholders. In reality, this new permit could have been finalized a lot earlier. The FAA previously issued a draft-tiered environmental assessment of SpaceX's request to up the number of launches and re-entries back in July. It scheduled five public meetings starting August 13th to get public input. However, on August 12th, reports emerged suggesting SpaceX had violated environmental regulations by repeatedly releasing pollutants into or near bodies of water in Texas, based on a violation notice from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. An earlier notice from the EPA also alleged SpaceX had breached the Clean Water Act. SpaceX denied the allegations. The revised draft-tiered environmental assessment released today says they have been resolved, a summary is also available. The TCEQ and the EPA found that SpaceX must apply to the TCEQ for an individual Texas Pollutant Discharge Elimination System permit covering the deluged water discharges. SpaceX did so and has since entered into agreements with TCEQ and EPA to resolve the alleged violations. 
This incident has interrupted the FAA's public meeting, delaying the timeline till early next year. If completed, the environmental review would give SpaceX regulatory approval to align with its goals of launching spacecraft as early as next year, if not later. In recent meetings, Kathy Luter, SpaceX's Starbase director, announced an ambitious goal of 25 launches out of Texas next year. The new regulations in this review aim to facilitate the realization of this plan. Elon, the founder of SpaceX, also revealed plans to upgrade Starship and its Super Heavy booster over the next year. The new version, called Starship 3, will feature impressive improvements in capability. Specifically, the thrust of the upper stage is going to double, while the booster's thrust will increase from around 74 to 200 meganewtons. To grasp the scale of this upgrade, the new Starship will have a liftoff thrust three times stronger than Saturn V. Notably, the draft environmental review is accounted for and permitted these significant upgrades. The substantial increase in Starship's capabilities open up new opportunities in space exploration. The upgraded system can transport bigger payloads, carry out deeper exploration missions within the solar system, and embrace the economic efficiency of space flights. However, operating such a powerful launch system also presents new challenges in managing environmental impact and ensuring safety. According to newly released documents, SpaceX may also be granted permission to recover all 25 first and second stages back at the Starbase facility. While the company failed to catch the first stage of the Super Heavy during its latest test flight, it demonstrated the feasibility of achieving this. By 2025, such recoveries could become a routine part of SpaceX's launches. After the recent test flight, Elon shared details about plans to catch the upper stage of Starship. SpaceX plans to conduct one more ocean landing test for evaluation, and if that goes well, the company will move forward with using the launch tower to catch the spacecraft, a big step in developing a fully reusable system. Despite these positive developments, SpaceX must adhere to strict safety and environmental regulations. The company is still required to obtain individual FAA licenses for every launch and landing, ensuring that all activities are closely monitored and meet the highest of safety standards. It's understandable that questions might arise about whether the newly released environmental review is a result of Donald Trump getting elected as the next president of the United States. Elon, the founder and CEO of SpaceX, has been highly critical of the FAA recently, arguing that the agency has hindered the progress of Starship and the U.S. space launch industry in general with overly stringent regulations. Meanwhile, Musk's close relationship with Trump raises concerns about potential conflicts of interest given the substantial number of government contracts SpaceX has secured. However, there are valid reasons to believe the environmental review was not influenced by politics. First, this document has been in preparation for over a year under the supervision of the FAA during the Biden administration. The extended process underscores the professionalism and independence of the review. The content of the review indicates SpaceX has made good efforts in complying with federal regs. The company has undertaken numerous improvements to meet environmental and safety requirements reflecting its commitment to sustainable development irrespective of political leanings. Looking ahead, if Trump is re-elected and environmental regulations are as relaxed as anticipated, it could create favorable conditions for the development and testing of Starship. This might enable SpaceX to accelerate its ambitious objectives. This scenario raises important questions about balancing technological advancement with environmental protection. While simplifying regulations could spur faster innovation, maintaining fundamental safety and environmental standards is crucial for ensuring sustainable development in the aerospace industry. Now, let's turn to the topic of Flight 7. Will it mark the fifth Starship flight in 2024? Given the rapid turnaround time between Flights 5 and 6, which took only about a month, there's optimism that Flight 7 could happen by late next month. And that seems plausible as preparations at Starbase have been going non-stop since the latest flight. Moreover, we get a statement from the FAA. There was no mishap. All flight events for both Starship vehicle and Super Heavy occurred within the scope of planned and authorized activities. This is because certain outcomes for both the ship and booster were exempted from being classified as incidents under the FAA's license. However, this does not mean SpaceX won't need a new license for Flight 7. The company may still require a modified license for the updated spacecraft design, a significant vehicle changes necessitate additional valuations. However, the concerns surrounding Flight 7 are not over. Recently, a group of researchers measured the sound and air pressure effects generated during Starship's fifth test flight back in October. 
Their findings, published in the Journal of Acoustical Society of America's Express Letters, reveal that the largest rocket ever built poses a significant risk of structural damage to nearby communities, particularly in Port Isabel and the southern end of South Padre Island in Texas. Potential damages include shattered windows, fallen ornaments, and other structural compromises due to the extreme noise and pressure levels during liftoff. According to the study, the supersonic boom recorded during Starship's fifth flight test far exceeded that of SpaceX's Falcon 9 and NASA's Space Launch System. The report highlighted that Starship's launch noise was at least 10 times louder than Falcon 9 and much greater than SLS during liftoff. Although these are relative comparisons, they provide greater insights into a vehicle that may soon launch more than 100 times a year, the letter read. To understand Starship's potential noise impacts on sensitive structures, communities, and the environment, additional measurements are needed. These findings present a substantial challenge for the potential launch of Flight 7 late this year and could also jeopardize SpaceX's ambitious plan for 25 launches and landings next year. The implications of such intense noise levels are likely to spur further scrutiny from agencies, environmental groups, and local communities. So far, SpaceX has not issued a public response to the report, but it will likely need to address these concerns soon to maintain the cadence of launches necessary for its goals. Public reassurance and compliance with evolving regulatory requirements will be crucial in avoiding delays and maintaining trust. This isn't the first time SpaceX has faced criticism regarding Starship's environmental and community impact. The company has previously denied allegations that its rockets pose a threat to the wildlife habitats surrounding Boca Chica, where its Starbase facility is located. However, a coalition of environmental organizations in Texas filed a lawsuit against the FAA following Starship's first orbital test launch. The lawsuit alleged that the FAA had rushed the licensing process without conducting adequate environmental reviews or mitigation measures. The current noise and pressure concerns may further fuel legal challenges and regulatory hurdles for SpaceX, especially given the findings as potential to heighten public and institutional scrutiny. If SpaceX wants to move forward with Flight 7 and later missions, addressing these concerns will be pivotal. The company may need to explore other mitigation strategies, such as sound dampening technologies, alternate launch site configurations, or stricter pre-launch community engagement. Failure to adequately address these issues could result in even more delays, jeopardizing SpaceX's timeline for establishing Starship as a fully operational and reusable launch system capable of achieving its ambitious objectives in space exploration and transportation. And that's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.